All right, so still focused on the posterior chain on hamstring and glute, but now we're gonna go with a little bit more balance. And I'm using our brute force kettlebell instead of sandbag. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna start on the same side, which is called ipsilateral, but also because I have a better range of motion, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this thing over and hold this underside handle. So now I can go through a full range of motion without that kettlebell touching the ground. So what I'm doing, the same movement, I'm just extending my hip, soft bend in the knee, but here's the difference. This non-working leg, I'm not just letting it hang out here because I see this done all the time. People just let this leg float. What I'm doing is as I hinge back, I'm actively taking this non-working leg and extending it to squeeze that glute. I come down just low enough to I feel a stretch in the hamstring of that working leg, and then I pull myself back up either to a balance point, or if you need to, you can go here and put your foot down. That's how I would start this. Now to progress it, and actually the better way for you to do this is in a contralateral pattern. So it's opposite. So if my right leg is working, my left hand holds the weight. So all I'm gonna do, same movement, just having a dynamic or in diagonal stabilization across my trunk and torso. Kicking that non-working leg out, hinging from the hip, sticking it backwards. Shoulders stay nice, square. Chin is neutral, come up all the way either to a balance or put the leg down and then repeat. It's nice and slow. Make sure when you do this too, that you still sit back on the heel of that working leg because the tendency is for you to shift to the ball of the foot. You wanna make sure you stay on your heel so you can really engage your hamstring and your glute.